Hello and welcome to Alternate Image Raid. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video, and we're going to tackle the Frostbiter rotation of Doom Tower, the final boss, uh, stage 120 on normal here. This this team will probably help you through a little bit of the early hard version of this as well, but I have to do some major tweaks to get it on the end of hearts. This is mostly uh, the end of normal and then a little bit of the early hard teams. So for this boss, the boss is all around freezing and burns is the thing. The boss is going to freeze your team. The boss is going to uh, block debuffs, heal reduction uh, to the enemy, you know, or to us. Um, potentially strips buffs from us, places more freezing. And particularly dangerous are the things the boss is doing if there are no HP burns on the boss. So the boss gets increased defense and resistance if it doesn't have HP burn on them. It also has a chance of... Uh, spawning additional spiderlings, reset skills if the boss dies without an HP burn on it. So you got to make sure the HP burn is there. It will keep the boss weak. Um, the boss does have kind of high resistance starting. It's not really too bad here on normal, but I do have one champion I bring from the harder team just to make sure I don't have to worry about it. For the comps I'm bringing here, I'm gonna or the champs I'm bringing here, I'm gonna bring Akoth. I'm gonna bring Yoshi the Drunkard. I'm gonna bring Skafix. I'm going to bring Vrask and Sile. So the, the main burn here is coming from Akoth and also from Yoshi. Yoshi is going to be providing us with an accuracy up. So this just makes gearing for this team a little bit easier. If you have Yoshi or any other champion bringing accuracy up, it's going to help your team just get the job done. A um, resistance down could do something similar, but you at least would need that champion to have eye accuracy to make sure it lands. Skathix with writing a little bit of shield, a uh, block debuffs ability. We have Rask just all, all around pumping out heals every turn. Siles also pumping out heals as well as stuns for the ads and the wave content and a res if things get spicy. They shouldn't, but you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to do this thing entirely on auto. I don't want to have to take any time with it. And fortunately, this team can do it on auto without a lot of trouble. Um, again, if you're trying to do the first couple of versions of this on hard, you might have to start paying attention a little bit more, particularly at the end of wave two, making sure that your um, accuracy up, your HP burn abilities and so forth are available. But this one is pretty much designed to go on passive. Sile's ability is going to keep healing. Vrask ability is going to keep healing. And the boss doesn't do a terrible amount of damage, even on the maximum normal floor here. So... I'm just going to go through here. Uh, I'll let you watch the run. And then, of course, at the end of the run, we'll go over their stats, masteries, and all that sort of thing to show you what this team is working with. I'm going to slow this down here for a second on the boss. One of those Skathix is also bringing a, a decreased speed buff, which is pretty nice. Um, the reason that Yoshi can't be the only HP burn champion is because his HP burn is random. So that is kind of a weakness. Uh, otherwise, everything should go out pretty well. Nothing is incredibly dangerous on this boss. So we just kind of let it roll, let it do its thing. Um, and the RNG should come out to eventually... Uh, we have the increased accuracy up at the same time as we're dropping an HP burn, which will make things land on the boss, and then it all goes pretty smooth. So I'm just going to rush through this on auto and speed it up a bit, and then again at the end we'll go over their stats and so forth.
And with that, the boss explodes and we have a victory. Yeah, like I said, it isn't super fast, but it is very safe. We'll see we were at full health with a shield almost the entirety of the time. Um, we'll notice that we have a ton of healing from Vrask and still a good amount from Sile. And then pretty much all the damage here dealt by Akoth and Yoshi. A lot of this is that burn damage. Sile did a little bit. Vrask did almost nothing. We'll also notice that the boss does have a ton of accuracy. We'll get to my stats in just a second, but Akoth uh, was resisted several times when Yoshi's was buff wasn't up. So we're going to want to get either more accuracy on your burn champion than I have here, or again, somebody providing the accuracy up that I have. So let's go show you the uh, the stats on these guys, and then we'll discuss some alternatives. Okay, here we have my Yoshi the Drunkard. Yoshi's in pretty good stats, but not the best that they possibly could be. I'm kind of in between two different attempts of builds. So we have decent amount of HP, okay attack and defense. We are an attack based champion, but we are more support than attack. So the high attack doesn't actually matter. I'd rather him live. The speed could and should be much higher. However, you'll notice my resistance is very high. Um, and that is by design for Doom Tower. It is pretty nice, although not necessarily 100% uh, necessary in this boss. However, the accuracy could be even higher for what we're trying to do. But still, all-arounder, pretty good stats here. For our skills, we are not booked out. Um, and then on our masteries, we aren't all the way down yet. But I was going through support and defense trees for this. I'm probably going to end up um, on either Eagle Eye here or on the Unshakable for the extra resist, depending on what I end up firmly using him for in the end. Sile, Sile is booked out. Masteries we have through Warmaster, very standard damage masteries on this champion. Sile is then relentless set for those extra turns because it's amazing and I can't imagine my Sile on anything else. We have decent HP, solid defense, okay speed. The crit rate should be higher relative to the crit damage and then the accuracy is uh, high enough for most things but actually too low for this boss generally speaking. Scathix, we'll see Scathix is 6 star ascended or Awoken, or Woke, or whatever, but I don't actually have the Blessing in yet, so that is not affecting this run. Escape the Six booked. Um, we did go down to the War Master Masteries, which is actually probably a bad thing, because the only thing I really use Scathix on is sometimes in uh, Iron Twins. I do have a video about that already up on the channel, and the War Master is actually worse for that, so I should have gone down the Defense Tree instead. However, it does provide some extra boss damage here, for this particular boss, the sets aren't really important, but the stats that we're going with, high HP, decent defense, lots of speed, and then a ton of accuracy. So the accuracy is great. It's actually going to land on this boss because I'm trying to gear this for Iron Twins 15, which has crazy requirements as well. Uh, Scathix is pretty decent. Mostly I just wanted a um, an epic support champion on this team. I, I usually use Brogni. Um, this, of course, is a Void Champion, but it isn't necessary to be this exact champion. It does have a block debuffs, but it can get stripped by the boss. Um, and then the slow is pretty nice. The decrease speed isn't bad here. My Akot the Seared is not booked either. It's not booked because I want the damage to stay low for Spider, although it wouldn't be bad to book it for this. However, it doesn't increase the chance of HP burn at all. We only have a... 60%, uh, I believe. It could be 80, depending on how the math works out. Um, I'm guessing just 60, probably 20 plus 2 for each of the adds, a place in the HP burn. Not 100% chance because uh, this boss or this champion I use on Spider. So there are better HP burners out there you could be getting, but this is my option that I want to use here um, for a kind of relatively budget team. Uh, skills, again, not booked, no masteries at all. And then four stats. Uh, none of these are terribly important. My speed is driven by my spider team. Otherwise, uh, HP, defense, a little bit of damage. I could, of course, have more damage. And you'll notice with those resistance, this is not enough accuracy if you don't have somebody bringing accuracy up. So that is something to consider. You're going to either need a bunch more accuracy or some kind of a buff that we have. And then Vrask is just such a healing god. Um... I only level 44, obviously the healing would go up on this champion if I was max level because I heal for 10% of this champion whenever I crit, which is all the time because that's a key part of this build. 100% crit, ton of HP, and then nothing else terribly matters. 
Uh, I was tr kind of building him for an arena team at one point, but I didn't get the gear where I needed it. Resistance could be a lot higher. Accuracy doesn't matter. Speed going up would be fine. We are in a retaliation set, and the benefit of that is a chance to counteract counterattack when hit, and we get hit and do extra healing. Masteries, I just have the 5% crit that I need, so I didn't have to gear around that. And we are also not booked, as it doesn't really do anything other than increase the damage, which is relatively low for this champion. So we'll see here, all of the champions are kind of interchangeable with a couple of exceptions. And the main thing that we need to worry about is a champion that's bringing an HP burn. And ideally, you could bring somebody better. If you had Mordecai, is going to be pretty good. Um, I think Drexar would be a decent burner. You need somebody who's going to apply a burn. The longer and better the burn, the better. Any champion doing that job is going to be fine. A defensive champion doing that is great for survivability, but it doesn't really matter. You could bring Geo. You could bring Ninja. I usually personally use Geo, but I'm trying to show a video without Geo in it. So here we are. Now, uh, Yoshi isn't necessary either, except... If we don't have a ton of accuracy, then you do want somebody who is bringing an accuracy up. So depending on your gear, either find a champion with accuracy up, of which there are not many. Lady Kimmy, Rule the Huntsmaster, Claude um, are the ones I can think of. Uh, if you have one of those champions, otherwise you're just going to need a little bit more accuracy. But depending on what you have, this could be completely replaced by almost anyone. Sile's just a great all-rounder, so bring somebody who's providing some kind of crowd control for the ads. The ads will... Uh, purges and cleanse the boss for you bring somebody who's providing extra healing if you need it as you can see this this team wasn't really in danger and so the res isn't super important either but it's a good safety measure so again any kind of tanky healy support champion is going to work in this spot same thing here goes for scathix that uh the slow is pretty nice just to help the boss prevent the boss from rotating through their abilities super quickly the uh block debuffs is fine uh, but it's again it gets stripped so it's not really a big deal any support champion here is going to work. This is actually a very flexible boss. The main thing that's going to be hard for you is gearing on your burner to get their accuracy. I think it's going to be something over like 300, 350, um, or to have one of the limited AOE increase um, accuracy champions in the game. So one of those two things is something that you're going to need. Stagnite's actually another good option for that because Stagnite will... Let me show you the Stagnite's ability. This passive is actually really nice. It does an increase accuracy each time they have a debuff resisted. So this is pretty good, but it's only for one turn. So if your HP burner isn't doing something prior to the HP burn that is going to get resisted and then do this, it won't help. But this is at least another option. Of course, Stagnite provides uh, decreased speed and decreased defense and decreased attack. Just a great all-rounder support champion that can do decent damage at the same time. So something else to consider in that path. Otherwise, that's that's really about all you need. You need somebody who is uh, burning. You need somebody who is either buffing the accuracy or just having a ton of stats. And then some support champs, and you'll get it done. If you bring somebody faster like Ninja, you have an even better chance of getting this done quicker. However, Ninja can explode his own HP burn and potentially kill the boss without it up. The chances are low, but generally speaking, you'll kill the boss much faster with a stronger burn champion. Once you have that, a decent nuker is going to be good. You could swap out any of these champions for another nuker, and you'd be in a pretty good spot. All in all, not a bad boss, just kind of high gear requirements for accuracy. So what do you think? What do you, how do you do this boss? Um, anything else you'd like to see in a video like this explaining how to go about doing this process? Let me know in the comments. Of course, this has been an alternate image raid video. Like if you like, sub if you love it, and if you dislike, smash the dislike button as it's still engaging for the channel. And as always, have a great day.